Hey guys, this is key number eight. The brighter the light, the deeper the healing. The brighter the light, the deeper the clearing, right? It's like, <sighs> the brighter the light, the more high frequency the light, therefore the deeper and the deeper you allow it to penetrate, the more dense frequencies, the more low vibrational frequencies are illuminated. And when a when a dense frequency, when a low vibrational frequency, uh, one that is like stuck deep inside of you um, or inside of the Earth Collective, anywhere, when it is illuminated, that is when it is seen and therefore needs to be released. So this is just something for us to be aware of, something for us to be aware of so that we do not mistakenly think that we have made a misstep because as we open up, make the space to allow these higher light frequencies to wash through us, there's going to be deeper and deeper experiences of healing and clearing and purging. And that's what I was going through today. This was like a, it was a purge day, right? Um, I mean, I knew when I set out to make this sequence of 24 videos on the silver ray that there would be a few days where I, you know, I might have ascension symptoms, I might be overwhelmed. I knew that something was going to come up at some point, right? <laughs> um, and yeah, so after yesterday, um, cause the last two videos I made, I, I like channeled, I channeled the silver ray frequencies out. Um, and then in the next one, that was when I, my guides changed when some the silver ray collective like came in and surrounded me kind of in a more permanent fashion to be my closest guiding counsel for the foreseeable future um and then that night is when the healing like the clearing the purging and the healing started and for me um it, I woke up in the middle of the night, like literally at 1.30 in the morning, and it was a big, I was just suddenly surrounded by my own fears, like my deepest, darkest fears. And for me, it is fears of being seen, fears of being seen, fear of people knowing what I think, who I am, terrified of being seen. So of course, making these YouTube videos is like a, a, a continually triggering thing for me. Um, and after making the most recent videos, um, it was just, I woke up in the middle of the night, just absolutely just petrified, terrified. And of course it's like, I, I've been here before. I, I was like, I've released these fears. I've worked through these before. I, I've been here, done that. I should be through this. Right. But it's like, this is just a deeper layer of it. So that's basically the message of this video is just understand that, um, as you continue to walk your journey, it doesn't matter how you know, how masterful you've become or how advanced you've become and how much you have already healed and just how at some point you might feel like, shouldn't I be beyond this? Um, but it, it's, so if you find yourself falling back into old fears, falling back into deep fears or having these fears or these old wounds come up for you yet again, and you're thinking, how can this possibly be happening? <laughs> um, I, I'm already, I'm already done this, right? I already did this. It's just, it's, 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 you have not made a misstep. you it's actually a sign that you are right on track. It is a sign that the light is penetrating even deeper into you and that you're getting out those like deep hooks, like the deep, 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 dark density fears, like the deep vibrations, the deep dense vibrations that are like way hidden, way deep. Those are what are getting illuminated and getting released and getting dissolved. And um, just to share the, the dream I had, this is how it, it was like shown to me in my dream. Um, 
I, I, well, I mean, a whole bunch of dream stuff was going on that was, wasn't really important, but the last thing that happened before I woke up is I, I was like, there were like these little tadpole little parasites like coming out of my skin and uh, people were helping me pick them out and it was kind of painful to pick them out and we were waiting for them to come out and I was really disgusted and disturbed. Um, and then this voice said to me, said, you can keep digging into yourself and trying to pull them out and getting help to pull them out and you can do it that way, but that way is, you know, that's a lot of work and it might be quite uncomfortable and quite painful, um, but you can do that. But, she, but then the voice also said, but you don't need to. You can also just allow the process to happen naturally and you can just allow, you know, these parasites, which is how they were shown to me in the dream, but the parasites were, I mean, you can think about these things as parasites. You can also think of them as like malware, if you want a computer metaphor, right? Like it's like malware running on your computer, slowing your computer down that just needs to be scanned and cleared by your antivirus, right? Or you can just think of them as like dense frequencies from the dissension cycle that are still buried deep inside of you. And they're just all coming up to be released. So the voice, the last thing she said before I woke up was you can just let it happen naturally. And it will all, all of these things will just dissolve and come out of you of their own. And you don't need to do anything. You can just wait and just walk your path and it will all release of its own accord. There's nothing you need to worry. Nothing has gone wrong. This is just part of the process. So yeah, and I got this box out because when I woke up, I, you know, drew a, drew a card for myself like I do every morning and I kept the card out. As you can see, it's still here because it was just so, it was like exactly about this message. So I wanted to show it to you guys. <laughs> this nine of water, but look at this silver woman with the silver light pouring down on her and she's looking up with you know her hand on her chest just like her heart is lighting up and maybe i'll read a little bit from the book about this and i think that's it because this it, i feel like today's message is just to let you know that when you go through these <laughs> if you feel like this again i already healed this is this coming up again um, or going, wow, I just had this massive spiritual advancement. I just became so much more high frequency. Why am I having these fears come up again? This is just to let you know, like, it, you know, it's, it's fine. It is <laughs> absolutely 1 million percent fine. It is just part of the process and we're, we're all, it's hap it happens to all of us, right? This is just how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> And because some of the things in here I found really resonated with me this morning. Keywords, illumination, acceptance, openness, emotional enlightenment, strength, courage, fear, ignorance. Key phrases, open your heart. Past experiences leave an emotional imprint. Shine a light on the source of the emotional pain. The effect of past experiences on the present moment. The weight of our emotions, emotional enlightenment, the process of becoming lighter. Ignorance is not bliss. Break the cycle, remove the emotional hooks. <laughs> and the very first thing to be born in the darkness of the void was light. The nine of water represents a need to embrace an open heart and then allow the light of love to transform and heal emotional pain and turn it into knowledge that sets us free. Our past experiences, good and bad, leave an emotional imprint. Remembered, joy and love can inspire a sense of well-being. A happy memory creates a feeling within that curves the lips and makes us smile or laugh, while a bad memory can cause tears and open old wounds we thought were healed and forgotten long ago. So... Yeah, basically when I pulled that this morning, I was like, that is exactly what I received from my dream. That is exactly what I had been feeling from the very first minute that I woke up. And I like the word it used, emotional imprints. That's what these like things that we could call, you know, parasites, we can call them, you know, programming errors or like consciousness malware, or we can call them dense frequencies, right? They're emotional imprints, emotional imprints and the light the bright frequencies of light when you every single time while you're in your human body every what this I think this goes on for as long as we're in our bodies right every time you access an even higher light frequency 
it reaches deeper into you to illuminate even older, even deeper emotional imprints, just for them to be illuminated and dissolved and healed. And then you move on fresher and freer and higher vibrational and that's it. So I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.